Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young if you're new and thanks so much for joining me today for this painting tutorial. So I'm going to be showing step by step how to paint this dramatic landscape fantasy painting on a 10 by 10 double primed and stretched canvas using the following colors. I'll have a full list of them below in the description box of this video. I have to apologize for the mess up my palette. I've been painting up a storm here in my studio today and loving every minute of it filming for you guys, um, mass producing some content for my Patreon members as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying all of this content uh, lately. Be sure to leave a comment or question below if you have one and give this video a like. Let's go over the colors. I'll be using a little bit of Napfell Crimson Red, Titanium White, Primary Yellow, Sap Green, uh, Cyan Phthalo Blue, Burnt Sienna, Dioxazine Purple, Magenta, and Blue Turquoise. So let's go ahead and get started with the first brush. I'll be using number 30 Filbert brush to start. And a little bit of water. Just going to finally mist my canvas. Wetting the canvas down really, really helps blend your acrylics out easier. So just spread it evenly over the canvas. And what we want to do is create a nice light area up in this section here of the canvas where we've got our main source of light coming from. So I want to tint my white with a little bit of blue turquoise, so a little bit like this, and I'm going to come in and create a little V like this. Now my white has a little bit of yellow in it. That was going to be my next color that I was going to add, so I skipped a little step there accidentally. So all you want to do is just come in and add a little bit like this, then just a little hint of that primary yellow, apply it partially over the white canvas and partially over the blue. I'm going to add a little bit down here at the bottom and then right away without washing my brush off, I'm going to take a little bit of phthalo blue. I'm going to come right across the top, kind of bumpy like, and then go right down here. I'm going to do the same thing right up here on the right, come down, pull, take a little bit more. This time add some dioxazine purple. A little bit more. Come somewhat below the last color. So we're just going to build up layers like this. Okay, a little bit more purple, a little bit of sap green. And we're going to come around from here, round it out slightly like this. Reload my brush. Get the edges of the canvas and just the sides here. Then I want you to just pull in towards the center, but leave a space. Pull, leave a space. Now I'm going to rinse my brush out. Okay, now that I've dried this off, we can start coming in and adding some highlights as well as some waterfalls. So I'm going to start adding some waterfalls with my number 20 flat brush. You can now purchase your very own set of a five piece set of brushes. Um, Joni Young Art Brushes uh, on craftmo.com. I'll have a link below this video. We sold out of the first release of them, so we decided due to popular demand and because not everybody got to purchase the set the first time, we thought we would um, add uh, another production of them. So I hope everybody watching out there um, was able to get a set. If not, click on the link below and hopefully you'll be able to get one this time. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of water on my brush and a little bit of blue turquoise and white. And I'm going to come in here and start pulling. 
from the side. Let's take a little bit more. It's important to have just a little bit of water in your brush so you're able to, able to release the paint. We'll come in on an angle slightly like this. And then I'm going to take white. I'm going to be a little, little bit of yellow in there as well, which is fine. I'm right on the side. See my brush is on an angle, pull, and then straight down on an angle, and then straight. Get a little bit more water in my brush. Okay, I'm going to rinse out all that paint, dry my brush off, and go back for more white. You really just want to concentrate on loading the tip of the brush. And I'm going to start up here and then have it fall right down to the center here. Then I want to take some of my phthalo blue, a little bit of water on my brush, and I'm going to go side to side, back and forth. We want the edges to be darker and then have it glowing and brighter in the center. You can go just graze right over the base of the canvas. And a little bit more down here. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush out again. And I want to take a little bit of white, blue turquoise, a little bit of yellow. A little bit more white. I make a shade of turquoise. So there's so many different turquoises you could use. So just use whatever speaks to you and what your favorite one is. So I'm just going to brush over the base, take some more white now slide and scoop sideways just to create some little lines a little bit more white on the very tip wiggle it around just to create a little bit of gentle spray at the base of the waterfall i'm going to go over to my number 14 filbert brush Take some more white, just on the tip, and I'm going to start adding some more waterfalls. And then wiggle, 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 dust back and forth, tap and dab. More white, and then gently pull up, just using the tip of your brush to make it look like a splash. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of purple with my white. A little bit of phthalo blue in there. Turn my brush around like this. Wiggle and create these little scoops, little lines. Kind of, I guess, feel like a little bit of a cave in here, you know. Add a little bit more white, just be a bit more generous with that white. OK, 
Okay, and then the next color I want to use without washing my brush out, more white, a little bit of yellow, and sap green. I don't want to have too, too much paint in my brush, so uh, just wipe a little bit of the excess off if you have too much. And then I'm just going to come in here and gently start to scumble. So it always sounds like I'm pushing a little bit harder than I am. I'm really not applying a lot of pressure at all. Brush is flat. And I'm just blending, dry brushing around, skipping some spaces. I'm going to pull in a little bit more to the yellow, tint it with a little bit of that green, and be a little bit heavier with the amount of pressure I'm using now and the amount of paint I'm adding. So we're going to curve down here. Add a little line here, a little bit more light. Add a little bit right in here. So it looks like we have some foliage. I'm going to turn my brush this way now. Pick up more of the green, yellow, and white. And I'm going to start to pull thick lines. Just like this. I come right out here in front of the waterfall. I want it to look like the inside of the cave wall comes down here covered with moss. And then we'll add a little something down below as well. Okay, the next thing I want to do, you don't even have to wash your brush off, you just go right into that purple burnt sienna. And we're going to just start going right underneath those light green lines. This one, we're going to come, let's just bring this out a little bit more, and then we're going to curve it around down here. Well, it really changes the atmosphere of this painting quite quickly, doesn't it? We're going to go right over the bottom and then scoop. reapply to make it nice and thick so it's not going to be see-through 
Again, burnt sienna, dioxazine purple. Now don't worry if you don't have these exact same colors that I'm using. Use whatever you've got. If you're still not sure, then just leave a comment below. Or you can send me a message on Patreon and I can give you some one-on-one -on -one advice. I'm going to start adding some of this Daxazine purple and burnt sienna to the side cave walls here. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush out. Take a little bit of that off. Okay, so I just dried this off quickly. Some parts are still a little bit wet, but I want to take some more white, yellow, and green. Slide my brush back and forth again. Adding some more light. Make it a little bit darker down here just by increasing the sap green that I use. And I'm going to add a little bit of red and white. Such a strong color, I have to remember. Less is more with this matte fall crimson. Okay, and I'm just gonna add a little hint of this in the sky, just a little bit of warmth. I'm gonna come down here and add a little bit too, just at the base. A little hint of pink in there. Take a little bit of magenta and with my red and white, wipe the excess off. I just have a little towel tucked down in here. Be a little bolder, a little bit more generous with the saturation, less white. a little bit of burnt sienna. Got a few little lines in here. Okay, the next thing I want to do is paint a little tree. I think we could have a little tree right about here and I'm going to be using my number three round brush um, for this little tree. I'm going to take purple, burnt sienna and a little bit of green. Mix all three colors up and I'm going to pull a little tree down in here. Just a little curve like that and then have it come out flat on the bottom. twist out to the left up and over to the right
just a few little crooked branches like this. Okay, then I'm going to take some of that yellow and white and just catch the inside of my tree trunk. And I'm going to also add another tree in here. This one's going to be bigger, so I'm going to use um, my number eight filbert brush, same colors, green, burnt sienna, purple. And I'm going to have the tree start from down here. A little bit wider at the bottom. Trees add so much atmosphere in a painting, especially when you decide to go in and add a really big one like this. I know it can be scary, but if you want to make big changes to your artwork and become a better painter, you've got to face those fears head on. Just practice with an older canvas or something by coming in with these big, big, dark looking trees. Once you do it, you know, do it over and over and over again. It won't seem so scary. Now I'm going to switch over to my rigger brush, number two. You want to make sure you have water on your brush and paint, of course, but you want to use extra water with these small brushes because I'll just widen this a little bit because they can't hold a lot. So it really helps to have that water in there. It helps to release the paint. It helps it flow better. So we're going to create some thinner, more delicate branches like this. Pull a little See, that's when you, you need to have the water in there and then just graze the canvas. I always like to add the ones down towards the bottom of the tree trunk too, to have just kind of curve over like this. I like the way they look. That's a lot of character. Now I do have a mop brush in my series of um, paint brushes, my set of five that you can purchase now, but I've been painting all day and they're wet. So as you can see, once you wash them out, the, sh the shape ruins, you want them to be nice and puffy like this. So I can't use that one right now. I've got about 20 or so um, extra of mop brushes on hand that I can, you know, go to whenever I need a dry and fluffy mop brush. So I'm just going to take this one here. No water at all. We just want to go right into our paint. What we want to do is take some sap green, a little bit of purple, a little bit of yellow, not too much paint and you want to tap to load your brush and we're going to start on this little guy over here we're going to go partially over those branches push and tap so a cute little tree back there and then we'll add 
similarly used to this one up here. A little bit coming down this branch here. I'm going to pull and just, you know, kind of just pull and flick like this to create a little bit of um, vines hanging down. Yeah, just a little bit more to this guy here. and rinse my brush out. So I've got another dry mop brush here and I'm going to go and make a lighter color now. We're going to add a highlight. So we'll just take a little bit of white, okay? Just a little bit like this and then go into our yellow and green. Tap lightly. Okay. And we're just going to go partially over where we left off. Get a soft little treetop. A little bit here. Rinse your brush out and then Softly blend that out. And come down here and add some more white. Now that it's had time to dry, we can brighten this up a little bit more. And I'm going to take just a little bit of yellow, a little bit of that blue, bluey turquoise. I'm running out of space on my palette. Okay, I'll just take a little bit and we're going to add it right here next to the pink. Then a little bit of yellow and white. We're going to go right in between that pink and the turquoise. Picked up a little bit of that burnt sienna and purple. And we're gonna take a little bit of magenta with purple, turquoise, Add a little bit right under here. Add a little bit of white. Pick up some white, a little bit of blue in there. You can tint your white with any color you want.
and just soften those areas back there a bit. And add a little bit more yellow in here and green. I'll take a little bit of my bird sienna with some white and a little bit of purple and just catch the edge of that big branch there. I'll only use a little bit more of the bird sienna. I'm going to add a little bit in here as well. I love the warmth that burnt sienna, the shade of it, brings and adds to a painting. I've got a mini mop brush here. I just want to add a little bit extra highlights, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. Just a, just a little bit more right in that area. Okay, I'm going to add, with my number three round brush, a few more branches in here. A little bit of thickness to this one. and This will add a, just a little bit more shadow as well. A little bit more generous with my purple now. If I had a little bit more purple on the shadow side, here on the left, then the warmth and brightness of that burnt sienna will show up even more. And right in here, I'm going to add a little bit of a <clears throat> pool of water. Thalo cyan blue, blue turquoise, and a bit of white. I'm going to take some white now. And I'm going to add a few waterfalls in here as well. I'll just loosen my canvas here. Gently pop this out so I can work with the bottom of the canvas easier. Get a little bit of water on my brush to loosen that paint up.
I'm gonna mix a little magenta, blue and white. A little bit of water in there, thin that paint out. Going for some purple, burnt sienna, add some rocks here. That's the fun thing about painting fantasy. You can add anything you want and it doesn't have to make sense. Just a few rocks like that, then mix up some blue, white, magenta, purple. You can add some highlights to those rocks, a little bit more white. a little something like that. bit of naphthal crimson, magenta, burnt sienna, those warm tones together. Add a little bit more on the tree. Take a little bit of white and yellow. that yellow. Okay, I'm going to go into my phthalo blue. A little bit of sap green. Gently blend a little bit of that cyan blue into the base of the tree and the water around the edge. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and green. I'm just going to tap lightly up the base of the tree. Add some moss coming over the 
edge here. Take a little bit of white with a bit of that blue. More white. A few flowers, some magenta, some red. A few little dabs here and here over the purple. And maybe down here at the base of the tree as well. A little bit of white. You see, because it's going to dry darker, so if you add a little bit of white like this, it'll still have some nice color to it once it's dry. I added a little bit of white to the magenta and the red. I'm just adding a little bit in the sky and just putting a little bit of warmth here and there. I'm going to take a little bit of white, yellow, and green again. And just re-highlight a little bit. Phthalo blue, sap green, some blue turquoise. Can add some, just pushing on some leaves down here. And a few cooler shades purple leaves here on this side, gradually going into the lighter ones. Okay, I'm going to call this one all done. This was really, really fun. 
Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing your version. So feel free to tag me uh, in your posts online. I love seeing them. I'll see you guys all soon in my next video. Thanks so much. Take care, everyone. Bye.